and like you already said, Poster Boy, a lot of pressure on his shoulders today. And he's that's, been uh, so cool and given everyone so much access. Absolutely. Ernie Holton Paulson, one of the best athletes around there, certainly one of the most charismatic. And for me, Bardos Stabno is a little bit the surprise. Um, he kicked out uh, se in the semi-final Arthur Peters from Belgium, so he is in the in the A final. First Max Renschmidt, uh, I talked to him just after the race. He said, "Well, I deliberately came third because I wanted to be in lane one. What a mess up of calculations! But it's really difficult to calculate. So it's going to be see how he comes into it. And then Murray Stewart, who's uh, Olympian, uh, well, gold medalist for the for the K4, going back a, a little bit. Yeah, and he was really really close for the um, bronze medal in uh, Rio in the K1000 meters. He just missed it out in the last 20 meters. Um, he's a great athlete that trained one winter with him done in Australia. It was a great time with him. Great athlete, uh, a, good, a good man and good bloke. So um, I'm crossing fingers for, for Murray today. Well, Murray Stewart traditionally had a, a blisteringly fast 500 meters, but then last year he tried to, or the, earlier this season, he tried to change his tactics a bit. Dostal has lost nine kilograms, he claims, since, since February. He's become leaner and, uh, well, he's never mean, but he's become a, a really finely chiseled uh, giant still. And then uh, Max Renschmidt, who's taken over as the top dog in the 1,000 meters for the Germans. How is he going to come forward? Yeah, and he's uh, won the medal of the European Championship, so Max Renschmidt is quite... Wait, good, solid start for Max Renschmidt in lane number eight. Yeah. Renny helton is uh, just looking to uh, go along with uh, Pimenta, maybe, but certainly no doubt about the fastest. It's lane number eight for Germany in the lead, as we speak. Yeah, and um, it seems like René Paulsen changed his tactic a little bit. He didn't do a full start. He was quite going quite slow into this race. Maybe he wants to, to get the, the wash from Pimenta. Well, here's, here's the main man in your picture. He had a, like you, like you mentioned, they've already been on the water once this morning. So that's certainly you had to, uh, something you had to manage. But it's really a neck and neck at the moment between Germany and Portugal. Yeah, and Pimenta was uh, doing his semi-final really, really smart. He, he calculated his power. He did not more than he, than he had to do. Uh, so I think he still has some power for this A final. And, um, and crucially, he's actually not going in the he's not going in the K4, I believe, or the K2. So he's just keeping it. Uh, this is this is all the money on this one, apart from obviously the 5,000 meters later. But he's slowly taking control of this race. Absolutely, and he's starting really quickly. With, uh, 47 for 250 meters. That's that's fast, and uh, I expect the time under 325 today, or around 325, which is uh, just a very rare time <laughs> because it's so hard to to be uh, at this level. As uh, Max Schmidt, who will be going in a team boat, remember he has multiple Olympic uh, gold medals to his name in the team boats. But so far, it's Pimenta coming out. Quite a long back from, long way back from Rene Holton Paulson. Already, he's 30 meters off the pace. We'll see if that's tactical or problem. So Roy Rodriguez at the top of your picture, all performing well. 141 at the halfway stage, and has Pimenta the uh, the ability and the stamina to take it on. His style. Yeah, just great. You can really see how smooth he paddles, how his his leg are working uh, and pacing down the rhythm. And you also see the rotation, the, the arms there, more or less all the time straight. He's not paddling with his biceps, he's paddling with his back. That's what every paddler wants to do, uh, using the big muscles, and that's exactly what he is doing. Today. Well, we can see now with, uh, what, about 300 meters to go, is Pimenta in the middle, he's leading. Second top is uh, Roy Rodriguez, who's also had some Really, really good results in the last couple of years. And don't count out Josef Dostal in the top of your picture on lane number one. Uh, some of the athletes, uh, Spabo and Rennie Paulson, are way back at this stage. 250 meters to go. And it is three quarters of a length ahead. Fernando Pimenta from Max Renschmidt. Yeah, and uh, don't forget that Josef Dostal just won the 500 meters yesterday. So um, when he has a great finish, he can, can win here a medal for sure. And, it seems like he has a finish right now. Well, about 100 meters away from the actual crowd, they're actually starting to stand on their feet, and it looks like they're going to be the first medal. Can he hold on? Fernando Pimenta is leading from Max Renschmidt with, at the moment, Joseph Dostal making a really fast move from the top of your picture. Yeah, Fernando Pimenta is getting on the pressure right now from Max Renschmidt and Josef Dostal, but also Balin Kopac has a great finish. And they're coming into the last 50 meters. And can Fernando Pimenta hold on? 
It looks like he has. He's going to take the gold medal for Portugal. Germany take the silver and Czech Republic Dostal takes the bronze medal. That's what everyone wanted. They hadn't had a medal up to here and now they have. He's such a cool character. Oh great, uh, that's really cool for the spectators here that Portugal won this gold medal. I think it's the only gold medal potential in this race that, they, that Portugal can win the gold medal and uh, Fernando Pimenta really did it. So. Um, the fans will go crazy on, on the grandstands, and it's it's cool for the for the organization here that that uh, yeah everything everything went perfectly in this race for per Fernando Pimenta. And this is, I think, was uh, I mean every every world championships has their their positives, but so far this has been a, a from a spectator and organizational point of view, it's been such a, a cracking performance, and it's uh, the the. Portuguese have really put everything into the organization and now their star who is is the only person visible he's on all the posters he's on all the marketing the wonderful uh, the, the, the the mascot is named after him it's nothing like putting all your eggs in one basket and he's come through absolutely and um I'm racing at world championship level right now for eight years and I never saw that uh, a mascot is named after an athlete, so that's the first time. So uh, it really shows that all the pressure was on his shoulders and he didn't care about it. He just did, did whatever he is doing and that's winning racing. So first look is away to his coaching staff who are on the far side of the, the course. And now what Fernando Pimento is doing is uh, is coming back. And now what we've just seen is a huge hug between uh, uh, Marcos, who is the, uh, the the main workhorse here organizing it. That's made his weekend. Fernando Pimento, as you can see, he's uh, probably in the pictures. He's just going up inside of the grandstand and uh, decided to go for a swim. But he's not stupid. He puts his hat back on again. Well, why not? The water's lovely and warm. Absolutely, 25 degrees or so. <laughs> and some jet skiing is fun as always, so. Don't tip the jet ski man off. Uh, I, think, I think, I wonder if we're going to see Ross jumping into the interview. Hopefully he can be back in a minute. A cracky performance from Jeremy Barr. So if yeah, just, I was just surprised you... about Max. I didn't expect him uh, on the podium, uh, to be honest. Uh, but and also to finish from lane number eight. I had a long chat to him after he'd, uh, he'd actually qualified. And he said, yeah, I wanted to come third in my heat because it guaranteed me a, a, a top. And he was completely wrong. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> he still managed to, uh, to come forward. Absolutely. And Dostal getting two medals in two days is great. Absolutely. And as last year, uh, he also won two medals yeah, last year, 500,000 meters. Great job. Well... Ladies and gentlemen, Portugal, here is your world champion. <laughs> Fernando, first of all in English, tell the crowd what this means for you today. I think it's my, my happy day of my, my life. It's crazy, crazy moment. I don't believe this moment with these great people, with my best friends, with my friends from canoeing family, with my family, with my sponsors. Thank you. Thank you all. I'm a, it's a crazy, crazy race. I feel uh, so happy. Uh, God, uh, now I'm in uh, Portuguese. Obrigado a todos. Esta, esta vitória é dedicada a todos vocês, principalmente à minha família, aos meus amigos, àqueles verdadeiros amigos que deram o corpo às balas nos momentos mais difíceis da minha carreira. Está tudo em aberto. Amanhã há mais. Estejam por mim que eu vou descansar. Obrigado. Ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's a really emotional moment. I have to be honest, there are some tears in my eyes right now. That was really, that was really special. I think uh, you really can feel the, the pressure which is falling down from his shoulder in this interview.
And there's no doubt he kept his calm at the beginning. Uh, Max Renschmidt went out uh, completely flying. And here we go, 3.27. Fernando Pimenta is the world champion from Portugal. Max Renschmidt from Germany takes the silver medal. And Josef Dostal from the Czech Republic takes the bronze medal.